hi fam welcome back to my youtube channel my name is isabella awan and you are watching adulting with bella if you're a returning subscriber i love you as usual you know you are my real mvp and if this is the first time of watching any of my videos or you're yet to just subscribe to my channel just look down below click on the red subscribe button thereafter hit on the notification bell so that you'll be among the first to get notifications of my videos whenever i drop them so today is sunday and time check it is I actually woke up around seven so right now it is about 7 31 and I'm going to church today and I want to take you along with me to church come to church with me come and see what my church feels like are you ready to come to church with me okay let's do this so first of all I'll just give you um, a little info about my church so I attend the Covenant Nation Igamo branch. Now, Pastor is Pastor Koju Oyemade, and um, I'm going to be attending the second service because right now the first service is like almost finishing. Second service is by 8:30. So apparently, it means that I have about 30 minutes or less to leave this house, and. Um, Let's see, okay, let's say about 40 to, um, because my, my church is not that far. My church is about 10 minutes drive from my house. So I apparently have like about 40 minutes to finish up. So take my bath, do my makeup, get dressed. And then um, about five minutes to book my ride. Then maybe 10 minutes um, drive down to church. So a buffer of five to 10 minutes. So I think I should be in church early enough today. By the way, it's first Sunday in August. So it's gonna be like a Thanksgiving Sunday. I'm kind of excited, I'm happy. I'm excited, I'm happy to be in the presence of God. So let's go to church. Let's do this.
tongues, they will wake up from bed and they will shout your name in praise. I declare this week the lines are falling unto me in pleasant places. My steps are ordered by the Lord. Every day I open my mouth wide, declaring the things I believe. Falling into existence, those things I see with my inner eyes, as though they are. And God in return loans me my life, advancing in position. Money by when I go out the street, my steps do not end in dark, narrow passages, nor do I waste time making wrong turns. Amen. and oh my god my makeup is looking weird and i'm really sweaty i'm back from church and as usual church was on point like honestly i feel like every single time that i go to church pastor oyimade just talks to me so today i'm going to share with you what um we learned in church today sorry don't don't mind the reflection of the light on my glasses so i want to share with you what i learned in church today so basically Two things we are preaching in church today. First was persuasion. Some key points to actually note on persuasion is that God is actually in the business of belief and he's, he's always constantly pointing you to things that you feel is beyond your capacity. So you have to, in your subconscious mind, be persuaded that these things can actually be done for it to come to pass when we are not um fully persuaded there are usually two things we tend to do first of all we start doubting our capability so we start this inward um internal excuses that oh we are not good enough when you want to apply for that job you see yourself saying oh i'm not qualified for this the second thing you tend to do is external excuses that oh the system doesn't favor people from the south oh the system doesn't favor these oh the system doesn't favor us that did not go to a public in a, that didn't go to a private university or didn't school abroad or oh, the system doesn't favor the blacks or oh, this we just tend to just make this um external excuses but to be fully persuaded, 
it means that God has you you have to believe that for God to actually point you to something he has deposited something in you that will shrink the size of the mountain shrink the size of that problem so what I'm trying to say here is that it might look it might look like you want to buy a car the, the exact example that pastor Yimade used today you want to get a car of about 15 million and the highest amount of money you have ever had in your account is like 5 million but this guy you want to get is 15 million you do a transaction and you get like 50 million you realize that a car of 50 million doesn't look so big don't, in fact, you will even find yourself wanting to do more so you first of all have to believe that god has put in you something that can actually help you overcome whatever your problem may be another thing he actually said is that we should guide our heart guide our hearts from these internal and external excuses because once we let the internal and external excuses creep in it affects our subconscious and dilutes our persuasion we might be confessing it with our mouth that oh yeah we are going to do this but in our subconscious we don't believe it because we in the back of our mind we believe that these internal and external ex excuses actually exist now the second thing Pastor Imadi actually spoke today about that really, really, really touched me was on grace. He made a statement and I quote, conscious, the conscious minorities are the ones that are constantly running the affairs of the whole. So what this means is that for example in, um, in England, um, we have the parliament that runs the affairs of this country. Trust me, what is outstanding about this parliament, for example, Boris Johnson and the one before him, are that these people are well schooled. They can tell you what happened in 1960 when somebody actually made a statement and how that turned out and how that problem was solved. The fact that we have grace doesn't mean that we would sit down and fold our hands and expect things to work for us. What grace does for us is that it opens our eyes to see the activities that we ought to do or the actions we need to take that will teleport us to achieving whatever we ask for. So to explain this further, it simply means that, for example, you want to go abroad like you want to go abroad there are different ways you can go abroad grace would help open your mind to the different routes or more like the best routes that suit you if it is going to be school if it is pr grace would open your mind and when grace open your mind and you find out that oh this is um it, it is going to be about school like you can go abroad through the um master's route Grace would also open your minds to the things you need to study for, the GMAT exams you need to write for, everything you need to prep, how to write your essay. Grace opens your mind to that. Now, Grace doesn't do the work for you. Grace opens your mind to the fact that your essay has to look a certain way. And for you to know that your essay has to look a certain way, and for you to actually make your essay look a certain way, you have to put in the work. You have to do your research. You have to study. You need to know. You have to be conscious of these things. I feel like people just think grace means God favoring you over others. But so you might just say two things that I'm also going to quote again to you. He said, super brilliancy is the recollection of what somebody has said, either through the books we've read or the conversations we've had. So for you to be to be considered as a superly, superly brilliant or a super intelligent person, trust me, it is something you have read somewhere or um, something you have heard somebody say. That is why I am so conscious about the kind of um, company I keep because the things they say are one of the things I recollect so far. The next thing he said is that God also speaks a lot through perception. So having grace, uh, most times, like when God wants to open your eyes through grace, you need to trust your perception. The perception in that inner deep, still voice in you whatever that voice is telling you try to listen to it because god speaks a lot through perception because he is always studying he has shown himself approved several times by putting in the work so work and grace goes hand in hand god gives you the grace by opening your eyes to the things you need to study but at the same time you need to put in the work and study those things and show yourself approved thank you very much 
I hope you enjoy my come to church with me vlog and if you do I'm going to be more detailed um, next time and try to capture most things I just wanted to try this out if it would actually sell so um till I see you next time on come to church with me if if you have a different perception or if you've learned something about grace and been persuaded if you've learned something different or something you think you need to share about grace and persuasion please comment down below and what um also i want you to comment down below what was the topic of preaching share your sermon with us in the comment section because this video is going up on a sunday so i want you to share your um sunday sermon with us if you went to church and if you didn't go to church i want you to go through this um, the comment section and come to church with us thank you for watching adulting with bella till i see you next time bye for now